So I never actually got around to making a video on the movie Prey. When Prey came out, you know, I like Predator. I'm not going to pretend like I'm a massive Predator fan. I'll tell you guys what I like and what I don't like. But Predator is probably one of those things where I'm kind of in the middle. I'm not necessarily a massive fan and I'm not necessarily like a, a, a you know, I don't know it. You know what I mean? Obviously, I did love the original Predator movies uh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I thought they were great action movies. They were silly, dumb, but they really were like good action movies. But Prey is getting a lot of backlash and prey gets a lot of backlash because it's trying to sell you a story that is just basically very hard to believe obviously in the first predator movies you guys know that arnold schwarzenegger and his squad of highly trained okay highly trained massive dudes who go around with massive guns and they all were unable to take on the predator until the very end you mean to tell me that this tiny hundred and something pound woman right she's probably 105 pounds was able to take on the predator solo dolo I mean, there's something really strange about that. So it's being called a woke movie, and I don't necessarily mean I don't I don't necessarily believe that it's a woke movie. I think that the word woke is probably not really tailored to this movie in particular. I mean, you can say the whole feminism thing and the pushing of strong, independent woman needs no man kind of thing could fall under woke, but I just think it's bad writing. All right, I think it's really bad writing and really bad presentation. But of course, because the show, or I'm sorry, because the movie is getting backlash. Of course, the actresses and the people who made the movie are going to come out and call everybody all kinds of buzzwords because that's what they do when they can't just admit that their movie is average at best. Average at best. It's not a horrible, terrible movie, and it's not the most amazing thing since sliced bread. It is literally average at best, but they just can't handle that. In their minds, they're making movies for themselves, and if nobody else likes those movies, then everybody else is the problem and not them. And it is a horrible, horrible ideology to have. So we're going to get into the article, guys. But of course, before we do, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you think of today's story, and let's get into the video, guys. All right, guys, today's article comes from some good old bounding into comics, and it says, Prey star Amber Mid-Thunder pushes back against critics who claim film is super woke and says they have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah, it's always the fans that have no idea what they're talking about. You know, all these pros who just show up on set, right? They were just hired for the movie. They never were in any other Predator movie. No, no, no. They're the pros. But the fans who've been watching this series for many decades, no, those people, they don't know what they're talking about. It's interesting. It says, Prey star Amber Mid-Thunder is of the opinion that any critic who found the latest Predator sequel to be super woke, particularly those whose judgments have been clouded by pre-release expectations that its story would consist of Hollywood standard ideological bro-beating, had no idea what they're talking about. The actress responded to this particular line of criticism against Prey during a recent interview with People given its retrospective of the media attention and critical reception of the film had received in roughly one month since its debut for streaming on Hulu. It says, asked by associate editor for the outlet's movie division, Benjamin Van Hoos, for her thoughts on fan skepticism towards the idea that her character, the mid-size at best, Kamachi warrior Naru, could take on a hulking and technologically advanced predator, Mid Thunder wrote the sentiment off as nothing more than the opinion of haters. So listen, I'm telling you right now, like, it's not that I'm saying, okay, it's not that I'm saying that Arnold Schwarzenegger, big, massive, 250, 300 pound dudes are the only ones who could take on Predator. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that if there is five to six well-trained military personnel, all massively strong men who are capable of a hell of a lot of damage on their own, let alone as a team, with massive guns that they are very well-trained to use with all kinds of like training in regards to, to subtlety, stealth, like really well-trained guys. Those five, six guys struggle and almost all of them die to take on Predator. But then this 110 pound woman who is just a warrior princess is able to take on this Predator solo. There is just there is just a certain level of like uncanniness, right? My suspension of disbelief is really played with at that point. And you can say it's feminism all you want. You can say it's, oh, you're just being sexist all you want. I don't give a fuck. You can say whatever you want to say. You can call me whatever you want to call me. At the end of the fucking day, you're not going to convince me very easily, all right, that a 105-pound woman is capable of fighting and defeating the Predator solo. 
very easily. It's not, it's not, you're just not going to convince me of that. I'm sorry. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. Now, if you want to tell me a trained tactical group of women who have great like like weaponry and, and they have a lot of military experience and they're able to do certain things that most average women can't do if you want to sell me that i'm all for listening but this whole solo dolo i can kill the predator because i'm a strong independent woman who needs no man you kind of lost me you kind of lost me and maybe I'm maybe I'm by myself there. That's okay. I can be by myself. We can agree to disagree. I hope you keep watching. But at the end of the day, it's very hard to believe that for me. It very it just is. It says people are always going to say stuff, but that's just noise, she told Van Hoos. Honestly, those people have no idea what they're talking about. Well, it's not just noise because your movie is not that well rated. Okay? At the end of the day, the movie is average at best. Like I said, it's extremely average. It says, Mid Thunder then turned to explain, first of all, I feel really proud of our movie, and I think director Dan, whatever the hell last name that is, is an incredible filmmaker. He has made something that people can eat their words over before asserting. I think a lot of people thought our movie would be some super woke, F the patriarchy kind of story, and that's not what it's all about. But it kind of is, though. It kind of is. It really kind of is. It says, it's not a girl to find what men say she can and can't do, the actress explained. It's literally an individual who feels called to something, and the people who, who know her don't think that's her calling. That is so much more personal, and I think as the character is harder to deal with than anything. According to Mid Thunder, much of the criticism was based on the fact that people don't know a lot about Native history, period. So they don't know what kind of warriors we were. I don't give a fuck what kind of warrior you were. There's no way in hell that you're going to easily take on this motherfucker right here by yourself. I don't care what you are. I don't care. You're a 105 pound woman. What are you going to do with a bow and arrow against this dude? It's just, it's unbelievable. It says there are people who don't even know that there are different tribes or languages she elaborated. So already that's coming from a place of ignorance. Then you look at it and you go, oh man, oh no man. Kamachi were really, really great warriors. They were known for being some of the fiercest warriors of all. And they did have female warrior society. So they were women that fought and hunted. Yeah, they hunted like animals, bro. <laughs> you know, like they hunted animals, bro. Like you can't compare hunting a deer to hunting the predator. His name is literally the predator. Because you are the prey. Like, you, obviously, you're not a hunter if you're the one being hunted, right? You're trying to fight for survival. Make it make sense, bro. You don't, you don't, you, I don't even know if she believes what she's even saying at this point. She's just being the typical fucking defensive Hollywood elite. It says, so yeah, I think you look at that and you just tell yourself, all right, whatever people are always going to say stuff, she said, I'm proud of what we did. To this end, added Bit Thunder, rather than espousing a woke message, she focused herself on making sure the film brought positive representation to the Kamachi people. There's never a moment that I'm not thinking about representation or just what that accomplishes. And that's the problem. That's the problem right there. These people, all they think about is diversity, equity, and inclusion. That is all they think about. Their entire personality, their entire identity is based in of that. It's impossible for them to literally separate themselves from that. So this is the issue in today's modern day entertainment when you have actors and actresses that are self-absorbed to the point where it's all they can think about. Race, skin color, simple fucking ideolo ideologies is literally all they can think about. They have no means to think of anything more complex than that. It says, especially a movie like this, how it's represented indigenous people and that what that might mean or how people might receive that or feel uh, about being represented by it. To me, that was the most important part of making the movie. She then recalled every single day I was coming to work and what I would think about from when I woke up and when I went to bed was how is this representing native people? This is the problem. You weren't thinking about making a good story. That's the, You weren't thinking about trying to sell a story. You were thinking about how can I shill on Twitter and talk about who I'm representing. How is this uh, representing Kamachi people? And I just really hope that Indian country would like it because that to me was where it started and that was where I felt like it lives and dies and then we could go from there. To have kids come up to me or parents come up to me on behalf of their kids and be like, they're such a big fan or she's so inspired by your character, that's something I could never have dreamed of, she concluded, and I just feel so emotional about it. This one thing I gotta say though, one thing I noticed, every single one of these actors and actresses, when they talk about more representation, they always talk about how people come up to them and say, I feel so represented, oh my god, I, I, I see myself in you. Sophia Nomved did that recently in an article from, yes, from the video that I, I uploaded before. It's the same thing, they all have the same talking point. Nobody is coming up to them and saying this stuff. Nobody is saying this stuff. Nobody's coming up to them and saying, oh my god, I feel so represented by you because you were fighting predator and I, I i feel that i feel that 
Nobody's saying that, dude. Nobody's coming out to these people and saying that. I'm sorry. I refuse to believe that. It's all bullshit being shilled by these people as a form of like, oh, what we're doing is right. What we're doing is totally right. Look at how many pe imaginary people are coming to me and telling me how amazing it is that I represent them. Yeah, they're totally doing that. I don't buy it 100% at all. And this movie, like I said, wasn't trash. But it wasn't the best thing since sliced bread. It's an average movie at best. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought of today's story. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.